Let's take a look at the new comp tool found in Cubase 6.5. Working with comp or composite tracks is taking multiple takes of the same performance and taking the best selections of each of those performances to create the best part. If we wanted to record comp takes, many people often put Cubase into cycle mode, set a left and right locator, and hit record. And as we do this, we'll see take one, take two, and it will automatically show up as lanes that can be exposed by opening the show lanes icon on your track control setting. Now if we wanted to edit these takes, this is where the comp tool comes in handy. So I have multiple bass performances here. And one of the things that's very handy is to actually be able to solo our different takes. So I'll set my range. So if I wanted to solo, take two, take three, Now if I wanted a particular take to be on its own lane, I could right click and choose, let's create tracks from lanes. And now I could add that track directly onto its own lane, unmute it, and it's now on our project window. Now selecting the comp tool is done directly in our tool menu here. So if I wanted to listen to different takes, I could say let's grab measure one here from that take and I want measure two directly from there. And as I select with my comp tool, I can swipe over and this will automatically select that lane as well as that particular take right there. So now we could listen to our comp take right here. If I went to select a different take, To audition each of the takes with my comp tool selected, I could come here and hold down my control or command key. And then choose the take that I want with my comp tool. I could also go to the edges directly here. And as I do this, it can automatically change the boundaries within my comp tool right there. If I wanted a part to be muted across all of my takes, I could come here, select that take, grab my mute tool, and then with my shift key, go to my master lane, and now all of my tracks will be muted for that selection. We can also be creative with our comp tool. So if I wanted to hold down my control or command or alt plus option, this would allow me to slide the audio within that particular take. If I want to copy particular parts, let's say measure one to measure three, I can use my range selection tool, select the range, and then with my comp tool, hold down alt or option, and now I can just simply say I want that second measure to be repeated of the first measure. If I want to get rid of the takes that aren't being used, I can now come here, we'll select with my comp tool all my parts, go to my audio menu, advanced, and choose delete overlaps and now all the extraneous parts will be gone. Now one of the problems that gets to be with a lot of programs as you're creating a comp, you may want the performer to actually mimic the actual composite take in one take. So once we've selected all the different parts, we may say sing like this or play like this. So we'll come here and we'll put this into a new record and we'll add a new track after our comp has been created. So if we have a new bass line going in here, we can see that as we record the new parts, that the previous comp is kind of getting wiped out. Now to go back to my original comp, if I didn't like this new performance, simply deselect it 
right there. And now my existing comp has been done and I could undo just as easily. So as you can see, if you want to do very fast, easy comping for MIDI parts, for multiple audio tracks or a single audio track, the comping tool in Cubase 6.5 makes it a breeze. 